Hey savers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be cash stuffing $90. That's what we have this week. So let's stuff some regular envelopes and do some savings challenges. So I have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. I'm going to have a little story time. Hopefully you won't dislike it. <laughs> so I went to the bank. Usually I like to go to the branch. I fill out my little cash slip so I know what denominations I need. I got to the teller and could not find my driver's license. So while I'm standing in the line, freaking out, I have $2 from Bottle Returns this week that I'm going to play a dice game with at the end. I was so upset because I'm like, where's my license? And I didn't remember that I had taken it out of my wallet so that I could um, present it at one of my son's school. I had to register him for next school year. I'd forgotten that put it back in the folder instead of my wallet, but I was freaking out at the at the tellers at the bank for a little bit, you know. So um, I could not get withdrawal from the teller because I didn't have a physical ID or photo ID. I had to go to the ATM, which is why I have no tens this week. So I can still do my savings challenges, hopefully. So we have thirty two cents that I saved in coins, which is not too bad. And then I remember those $2 I got from doing a bottle return because we like to recycle whenever we use plastic bottles. So that comes in handy. We're going to put that extra money in my abundance envelope. I'm also going to check my wallet to see if I have any unspent spending money for this past week. My $10 is still there from last week because I've been busy this week and I did not spend anything on myself yet. I did not spend anything from emergencies, which is always good. We didn't have any little hiccups where we needed to pull cash. So I'm going to roll that over. We had $25. No, we had 20. Yeah, we had $25 in Metro Car, but I did use $5 in the past week. So we have $20 in there. I'm not going to take anything out. I'm going to roll it over. All right. Gas should still have $10 and it does. So we're going to leave it right there. And household, I did spend some money. I didn't update my tracker though, but that's fine. We have $4 and this dollar bill is lovely. Okay, one, two, three, four dollars that I'm going to take out also because, you know, the dollar bills is what helps us. They, they add up when you save them. But I'm not stuffing this wallet this week because we're not working with as much as, you know, we normally are. My Mind Your Money personal binder is up first. And Dollar Store is going to get a dollar. We have to make some tie-dye shirts or just one tie-dye shirt for my three-year-old who is going to pre-K in September. One, two, three dollars now in Dollar Store. So I'm thinking... Oh, if I go to like that local consignment shop or maybe even like Family Dollar, I could find a good blank t-shirt to use. And then I may have to use some money from homeschool. I'm going to try my best to see if I can get something for an inexpensive price. If not, I'll have to pull from their spending money. So $1 is going into homeschool and now homeschool has one, two, three dollars. I mean, we could buy just a plain blue shirt, but I think it would be fun to make it like a project that me and him can do together or him and I <laughs> household is getting three dollars. So let me take one, two and three. This one has tape on it. Mm. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Hopefully it doesn't matter. And household now has five, six, seven, eight dollars. All right, my oldest son is getting five. My middle baby, he has a dollar left over and he's getting three. One, two, three. 
and now he has four. One, two, three, four dollars in his spending. Mostly what they'll be doing in the next week is riding their bikes, playing at the playground, re-watching Mario for like the third time, um, Super Mario Bros. So two dollars, no, no, no. Did he have any money in here? He did not, but he's getting two. So two dollars in Josiah's envelope. And laundry's getting 25. So take this out. So now laundry has 30 again. 20, 25, and 30. Alright, so that is it for my mind your money personal binder. All right, so I'm not going to be stuffing anything else um, with maybe I will be able to do my monetization tracker, though. Okay, so what I'm seeing right now is that we have 149 subscribers, so just one away from being able to color in this. So I can't color it in now. I'm not going to cheat. I'm going to stay honest about this whole thing. And so maybe next time, by next week, um, we'll hit... The next 50 subscriber and I'll be able to color that and maybe we'll get 200 that would be great I am really close I'm less than like six hours away from having 400 um, watch hours so I can't color this in just yet so we'll leave that for next week but I still have the money the cash money in my envelope so we can use this towards the giveaway and purchasing a binder so I can do more giveaways on the channel because giving is fun Okay, so what we're doing right now is starting with save my hourly rate because savings challenges are fun and I'm using this as our pay ourselves or PTO type of account. I'm going to transfer this into our pay myself account and we're saving $15 today because that's what we have to work with, which is absolutely fine. I feel like I've said absolutely fine about, I don't know, 30 times, <laughs> 5, 10, 15, which is fine. We can always, we'll do a cash exchange and cash condensing at the end of June. So just add those to the end. And we have now 100, 250, 270, 290, 300, 310, 320, 330, $330 now. The next one I'm going to do is your year to save $1,000. We have one more calendar icon to color in for June, which is nice. And that means we are ahead of the game because I'm filming this on the second Friday of June or the second payday of June. Um, and I'm excited to say that we are already done with the June portion of this savings challenge. I would love to be done this one early because this money is going into our account to act as our cushion. That's our first line of defense against any oopsies or overages or like if we're over budgeted or if we have a slight emergency, this cushion will help take care of it. So $25 is being saved for this today. And I'm going to add it and count it because it's always fun. And also as an added like hooray to myself, I'm going to also color in the last third of this zero to signify that we've already completed the first two quarters of this challenge. And um, I started with purple, gray. I don't have purple, so this is going to be very colorful. I'm going to go with blue. Since we did use blue there. So we are done with the second quarter of this savings already. If you can get ahead, if you can save a little faster, do it. Why not? 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 440, 470, 480. So I'm happy we have 480. And next week I'll start on saving the $25 for July. It'd be nice to be done this before December. I would love that. Next challenge I'm going to do is the Father's Day challenge. Dads be like. Big shout out to my friend Nyjah for her um, 
advice on other be like challenges that I can create, which I will be releasing very soon. So thank you, sis. I love that. I appreciate it. So we're going to color in another box gray. Um, what the, let's say that my husband doesn't really say that often. I think, I don't think I've ever actually heard my husband say what the, <laughs> or he might say something similar to that, but we'll just color in this one. What funny phrases or like common phrases does your dad or if you're married with children, what does your husband say <laughs> to the children? All right, each box is worth $10 per my choosing. And I have these two fives that I'm going to add to it. And I think this is it for the gift that he says he wants that costs $70 on Amazon. So basically what I'm going to do after I purchase it, I'm going to deposit the cash into the bank and then just pay the card back for the gift that he says he wants. 50, 60, 65, 70. But we still have more boxes to color in, so I'll try my best to um, add to this before Father's Day. If not, I'll start saving up for next Father's Day. Yeah, but that's our Dad's Be Like Challenge. Okay, let's see what we're working with. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six dollars here, which is nice. This is nice, leftover unspent spending money, and then also um, recycle money. So I'm going to take this six dollars and I'm going to roll the die for abundance because I really like this one. And to have this one built up means a great deal to me. Okay, so we have five envelopes in here. That is a six. So it should be abundance. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Just so you know, I'm not cheating over here. An abundance needs a condensing too. There's so many singles. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 now. Definitely need some singles in there, but you have to wait until the end of the month. All right, let's see what's next. Five, that's oops. One, two, three, four, and five. See, oops is going to get a dollar. And now oops has five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen dollars. Even my kindergartner, he needs um, a colored shirt for their field day coming up. So we had took some money from Oops earlier this week. So it's nice for it to get a little bit back. Five. This Oops again. Uh, all right. So Oops now has 15, right? I think that's, I think I counted 14. So that's 15 now in Oops. Six. That's abundance. So we'll put a dollar in there. That's 26 now in there. Oh my gosh. Five. This oops. Okay. And six. Which is abundance. Oh my gosh. Okay, abundance almost has $30 in it, which is nice. And I have to do a um, condensing which I will, no, I don't want to put singles in my savings challenges. Um, I'll have to do a condensing next time because I don't have the money to do it, but I'm glad that we had that extra um, unspent money to go ahead and put here because whenever, if ever we need to, there's an abundance of what we need. We can always pull if we need to. Like if there's a shortage, like, for household, then I can go to abundance and say, look, we, we can, we, ha we live life abundantly. We have enough. Um, and I may, I may need to pull a, a few dollars just to make sure I get the rubber bands and also the tie dye for the shirt for my, um, my baby. So that's it. That's all. I appreciate you all for being here. I thank you so much for your continued support in helping 
keep us accountable on our journey to saving as much money as we can. If you're not following me on Mind Your Money, that is where I break down my budget. That's where I talk about our financial goals. That's where I talk about our investing journey so that we can build generational wealth. Here is all about the cash because we're saving up as much as possible doing fund savings challenges so we have money for our children. So we have money to start their um, or build up their savings accounts, build up our cushion and do things like getting ahead of all of our bills. So happy savings and keep on saving y'all. Bye for now.